Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 8 video in VMware vSpare Disaster Recovery where we are using, uh, configuring and using uh, VMware vSpare replication and site recovery manager to have an automated recovery uh, solution or disaster recovery plan for the our production data center to a disaster recovery or DR site and we are going to use the same same uh, site recovery manager to have a uh, failover and fail back from the production to DR and DR to production so in last few videos we, we have configured and deployed the SRM replication applying uh, up SRM appliance and uh, vSphere replication appliance and uh, also we did the some post post installation and configuration tasks for those appliance and if you have not watched those series uh, go and watch from part 1 to part 7 so you will get idea what we have configured before and what we have done since starting to setting up this all disaster recovery infrastructure and what we are going to uh, use the benefit of the disaster recovery by using the replication and site uh, site um, replication vSphere replication and the site recovery manager so now <coughs> in this video I am going to focus on replication part so basically we are going to have a, a, a configure a replication job for two windows based virtual machine which is going to be replicated from production to DR site so you can see in uh, in the screenshot also so I have added like we have already con created and configured the site pair so now we are in, in the replication so before we move further so this is my demo environment so since uh, who joined us uh, us from part one video they are familiar with this infrastructure so just to give you idea so this is my console machine the first one uh, so this is my VMware prod site and this is VMware DR site and these are two virtual machines which we are going to fail over and fail back from production to DR so currently these virtual machines are in my uh, production site so the first machine is win 10 console this is my console machine from where I am doing the um, basically taking the um, you can say the management of the vCenter servers and uh, on the web browser and all so this is my console machine if I go and show you this is the Windows 10 machine and just I am I'm accessing my VMware infrastructure from from the web client from this uh, Chrome browser which is installed on this Windows 10 machine and the second I got the Win2K 12DC01 uh, which is my domain control and DNS server uh, third one is win to k 12 iSCSI which is my iSCSI server basically I am using as a storage server so which is providing storage to my vCenter infrastructure and this is my in the both infra, uh, environment like DR and prod uh, we, we having two ESXi hosts which is running on ESXi 7 and got the VCSA also up and running which is 7 so um, and a part of this we got two appliance which is for uh, at the both side we spare replication 8.3 and we we spare uh, SRM 8.3 on the production and DR side so you can see everything here and these are the two virtual machines so if I show you this is my active directory and DNS server so I, I got active directory and DNS running this is my storage server if I go to ISKC you can see I got all the ISKC disk attached to my environment which is added uh, added to my uh, basically uh, prod and DR ESXi host and these are the two ESXi for prod prod ESXi 01 02 and DR ESXi 01 and 02 so this is the infrastructure and if I log into my vCenter server which is uh, at prod side so you can see I got two ESXi host and if I go to VMM folders you will see I got uh, prod VMs folder here and, and we having two virtual machines which we are going to focus on this video to have a replication job created in between SRM so you can create the replication job from any of the site like uh, from uh, from the DR or from the production so I'm going to open a product from the production so site recovery from menu I'm going to click on site recovery so this will open the site recovery wizard where you can see the vSphere replication and site recovery manager status so I'm going to open site recovery so in last video we have created this uh, site pair and 
we have configured the post installation task also so you can see those videos where we have created the uh, site pair and configured the all network mapping folder resource mapping and everything so now in this video replication so I'm going to click on replication and this is going to be outgoing outgoing means it's going to from my production site to DR site so I'm going to click on new and you can see auto assign the vSphere replication server so we got only one VR server which is replication appliance so it's going to be auto assigned on also if you have a manual multiple you can select it manually also so click next and these are the two virtual machine which is in my VM folder prod VMs I'm going to replicate to my um, basically at the DR side so select those two virtual machine click next and now I'm going to use the thin provision disk so this is my DR cluster storage which is available on my uh, destination or you can say the DR uh, data store so I'm going to select those and then I'm going to select my one of the data store which is part of the uh, DR site data store cluster so click next and I'm going to set it for 30 minutes and I'm going to keep default the uh, uh, the instance per day and the f uh, going to keep it for five days and also if if you are running anything like uh, um, specifically like the database server active active database you can use the guest OS thing also and I'm going to enable the network compression for VR uh, data also so this is going to be save some bandwidth so click next and this is going to ask you protect group so I'm not going to create a protection group now so we are going to create a protection and recovery group in next video so just leave it did do not add any protection group now click next and this is all ready to complete so we got target server which is our INDR which is our uh, DR assigning DR uh, VCSA and replication server is going to be auto assigning VMs to be replicated to crossing enable network completion enable encryption is disabled so recovery point is going to be uh, RPO basically recovery point objective which is how much frequent this machine is going to be replicate from production to DR going to be 30 minutes so every 30 minutes is going to be replicate from production to DR all the changes basically and points uh, point in time recovery enable so this is going to be a keep three instance per day for five uh, of five days so this is going to be a kind of snapshot which machine is going to be taken and protection group none for now so just click on finish so now you can see configuring VMware for replication it's going to be configured soon and then you will see both virtual machines here and it's going to be take some time to get the replication completed so you can see it's currently around 1% completed so these two machines are going to be replicated from our production site to DR site so it's going to take some time depending on the data how much data you have on the virtual machines which is going to be replicated from production to DR so I'm going to pause the recording till the time this migra uh, this replication is happening. So once the replication is completed, I will we will be verify the same and we will validate the, our replication also at the D uh, DR site. So now you can see the replication is about 90% plus completed for both the virtual machine. And you can see the replica disk uses it's going to be a very less because we are using the thin disk for the replication so it's always going to be a consume space only which is uh, being consumed inside the virtual hard disk of the virtual machine so those are the tips and always make sure you enable the network compression if you want to save some bandwidth so this is going to take some more time to get this replication finish which is basically initial sync and once the initial sync is going finish it will have only the delta sync which is going to be a uh, sync from pro a production through DR whatever is going to be changes uh, uh, 
going to be change uh, changes made in the primary side or the production side it's only going to be a replicate here so let's finish this in uh, initial sync once and then we will run the uh, delta sync also or you can see the we will uh, do the force sync now button to sync the virtual machines manually from the source to destination so now the initial replication is about to finish so it's 99 percent completed for both the virtual machines so now the synchronization is finished also you can see uh, last sync time it's done the synchronization is for the 40 second approx 40 second for the both the virtual machine and last sync size is uh, very less approx 5 mb 6 mb so if you see here and if i run the resync now again so it's going to be a incremented or uh, sync incremental sync you can say for the both the virtual machines and if i refresh this page it's going to show you the incremental synchronization is running now and it's going to be finished soon because it's uh, it will not have much data so now uh, you can see the replica disk size is approx 6.30 gig for the both the virtual machines and we got the uh, synchronization and everything up and running and we will see also the synchron latest synchronization is finished so if i refresh this both virtual machine status is going to be ok so means the replication is healthy and you can see the last synchronization time last synchronization data and everything so this is all about the configuring and uh, creating and configuring the replication job in vmware vsphere site recovery manager so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post them in my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye